NFL draft night in Chicago where 32 teams are all thinking they've drafted next year's rookie of the year and a future Hall of Famer. That's the beauty of this night for the teams and their fans. And after more than two hours of picks, the Bengals finally got their crack at it and took offensive tackle Cedric Aboye of Texas A&M. Bengals have some age and expiring contracts coming up at both tackle positions, so it's not a surprise they chose to go this route. Aboye tore his ACL during the Aggies' bowl game in January. Otherwise, he might not have been available to the Bengals and their offensive line guru at number 21. Here's the lowdown on Aboye. He was an all-SEC performer in 2014, making 45 career starts for the Aggies. He's even blocked for Johnny Manziel the two of the last three years. He did tear that ACL in the team's bowl game, but said he's already running and doing some light lateral movement rehabilitation. With the first pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Jameis Winston, quarterback, Florida State. No surprise at the top, Tampa Bay Bucks made Florida State quarterback Jameis Winston the number one pick. Winston went 26-1 and as an all-starter. Second pick by Tennessee was Oregon quarterback Marcus Mariota, the Heisman Trophy winner who could still be on the move if his former coach Chip Kelly in Philly comes up with a big enough package to entice the Titans. So here's the full slate of picks for the Bengals this weekend. As mentioned, they grabbed a boy of Texas A&M. Now it's on to tomorrow's second and third rounds when they'll have three overall picks. Our top pick on Local12.com is Richard Skinner, who's been camped out at the stadium all night. Mike, thanks very much. So the Bengals did address a need that they had coming into the draft. They wanted to get more depth at offensive tackle. That's what they did tonight with the first round pick. Now what comes up is rounds two and three where they can go address other needs. On Local12.com, we'll have a Profile of Cedric Obwehi. We'll also have reaction from Paul Alexander, the Bengals' offensive line coach, from Marvin Lewis, also from the draft pick himself, and we'll look ahead to rounds two and three tomorrow and see what the Bengals may do then. Mike, back to you.